This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location at Metro Connect 2019 in Miami, Florida, and I'm here with Mr. Thomas Perrone. Thomas is the COO of Go NetSpeed. Thomas, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me. You bet, you bet. Uh, Thomas, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Go NetSpeed? Sure. We're a fiber to the home um, and small business company. We've been um, founded by Frank Ciano, who founded uh, FiberTech Networks. And when FiberTech got um, merged with Light Tower, mm -hmm. Uh, Frank wanted to do it again and move into the final frontier and we believe that fiber to the home and small business is the final frontier and densify the reach of technology right out to the last mile. Outstanding, and so you and you continue to do that. I know that you uh, recently or maybe um, a relatively new service is, uh, uh, you know, uh, New fiber service yes. there, uh, fiber to the home. There's a lot of a lot of um, FTT XSX right. and X is involved here. We offer mainly uh, internet, gigabit internet services, okay. somewhat like a Google Fiber, but uh, we have the experience from um, Frank and and about 20 others that join the team um, to to do that in a in a way where we can scale it and build efficiently. Where I think some of the struggles from someone like like a Google. Um, did not have all that expertise. So we have, you know, over 40 years of experience with, with this team and, and building. And building, uh, there, obviously there is, uh, there's preparation involved here and there's, there's challenges that have to ultimately be met and overcome. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about those challenges? Sure. Uh, I would say that the biggest challenge that we faced wasn't building reliable network, wasn't getting the fiber up there, wasn't the splicing, wasn't the record keeping. Um, it's, it's twofold and it all stems from, from volume. There's extreme volume. We're not talking about thousands of businesses or cell towers. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of homes that need connectivity and orders and mm -hmm. communicating with them where, you know, in the private sector or the enterprise sector or the schools, you got to get in front of the decision makers and kind of communicate what's happening back and forth or what do they need or where are we falling short. If you want to communicate with 100,000 people, it's not quite that easy. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, but, yeah, but you're doing it and you're doing it effectively. Yeah. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the feedback that you have received to this point? Absolutely. The feedback's been tremendous. Folks want a break from the traditional providers. They're a little bit fed up and frustrated and and we have some fantastic performance but we also concentrate on being customer service focused um, and answering their questions immediately and making sure that they receive their speeds all the time and and that we hear them and respond on a regular basis what can our viewers expect to see from you folks in say the next year uh, some more extreme growth. We have uh, big extreme plans. Growth, that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, we currently pass about 35,000 customers, and we hope next year by this time we'll have over 100,000 homes passed, and the five year plan is about 700,000 homes passed. That's ambitious. Yeah. Yeah, outstanding, and congratulations on all you're doing, and we'll definitely be uh, keeping our eyes on you guys uh, in 2019. And thanks for having me. You, you bet, you bet. Thanks, Thomas. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.